What's going on? Did you click on a Snoop Dogg video? Nah, I'm playing. It's clouds, bro. We keep it PG. Oh, Yes, right. What's up? All right. We're high in the air. We have clouds floating by. Where's Lakitu? Lakut, Lakitu, Lakitu. I think it's Lakitu. How you say? No, the dude that fish. Come on, bro. Like the video. You know you want to. Click that thumbs up. All right. We have some dope news items for this video. First, you want to know Nintendo's future in the clouds? Well, you clicked on the right video. Their global president, he was interviewed by Nikkei, which is a, a popular Japanese publication, and they asked him about the clouds. Now, this is coming off of Reggie fils saying that cloud gaming is the future. Reggie ain't with Nintendo no more, so he can say whatever he want. But what does Nintendo feel about cloud gaming? This is what Furukawa says. It's possible that cloud gaming could capture the public's interest in 10 years from now. However, at this point in time, I do not think that dedicated hardware will go away. I'm going to talk on that in a second. He continues, it's a long way off before we'll really know the outcome. With that said, it would be pointless to solely focus on methods of play that can only be on dedicated hardware. Once your audience starts saying they can play on other consoles or smartphones instead, you're finished. Nintendo's like, once they start playing somewhere else, he says, we're done, bro. Our bread and butter is our dedicated hardware. But he continues, something I do not want the public to misunderstand is that we are not turning our backs on new technologies. We are constantly researching and development. The R&D is always at work, bro. Our hardware development teams evaluate all kinds of new technologies available thus far and consult with our software developers. Hardware with software, Nintendo's good at that. If they deter... Somebody just followed me on Twitch? Wow, while well, I'm recording. Hi, Ty Dornbos. If they t determine that a technology can be used with a game, then they will utilize it. We will not be changing this fundamental approach moving forward. And he says one more thing about augmented reality. As far as AR is, as far as AR, it is definitely one of many aspects we're interested in. We are currently researching what interesting ways we can utilize it. He said a lot of stuff that I have to break down. One of the things he says, dedicated hardware is not going anywhere for at least 10 years. I've said this. With the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X coming out, we might have one more console cycle. This one, maybe one more after that. But definitely, it's a wrap, bro. <laughs> the internet is going to catch up. Technology is going to catch up to where the internet will feel like just the, the lag will so, be so minimal. And they'll figure it out to where there's no need for another hard uh, for hardware. But I like that Nintendo knows that they still need their dedicated hardware. They know that this is their bread and butter. Nothing beats direct input. The only problem with dedicated hardware is the upfront cost. To play your games, you first got to shell out 400 500 Nintendo's case, $300 to play the great software. And a lot of people just want to play the games. That being said, he um, Nintendo already does cloud gaming. Bro, right now in Japan, you can play Assassin's Creed Odyssey in the clouds. Right now in Japan, you can play Resident Evil 7 in the clouds. Not in the U.S., I think the only thing that's limiting Nintendo is the infrastructure. I think Nintendo is going to have 
a two-faceted approach. They're going to have their dedicated hardware and at the same time give you the option for cloud gaming. Similar to what Xbox is currently doing with um, xCloud. Um, I think what's limiting Nintendo is infrastructure. If they had the infrastructure, we'd probably be able to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey in our Switch, our Switches in uh, the U.S. as well. But <coughs> Nintendo is currently doing cloud gaming. I think a lot of people don't realize that. But only in Japan. And so, I'm all for options, bro. I wouldn't mind um, being able to play my Switch games anywhere. If the technology is there as an option, I still ideally dedicated hardware is the way to go, but no one can argue against options. I mentioned PlayStation and Xbox specifically, bro. We're going to wrap it back around to switch how this is um, tied to the switch, but an analy analyst are already predicting <laughs> Xbox is due, bro. Give Xbox a chance. According to analysts, they're saying the PlayStation 5 will outsell the Xbox Series X. Now, as much as I'm a fan of uh, Microsoft, I have to say you can't, you can't argue against numbers. Microsoft has never beat Sony in a generation race. Even though they've, I think they've beaten um, Microsoft during the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 phase. Just because the PlayStation 3 started slower. I think the lifestyle time sales of the PS3 did pass the Xbox 360. Don't quote me on that. But, even without that, Sony's consoles. We talk about Nintendo fans being dedicated. Sony's consoles always sell. My least favorite platform, but they always sell, bro. And I pick them up every year. I mean, every generation. I don't know if I'm getting PlayStation 5 next gen. But the PlayStation 4 sold over 100 million consoles. You can't just deny that. You can't just ignore that. And so regardless of how the Xbox sells, Xbox Series X sells, I'm guaranteeing Sony... It's going to be all right next generation. The PlayStation 5 is going to sell. Trust me. But another article. This one is coming from express.co.uk. It's saying the Nintendo Switch Pro in 2020 is bad news for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Bro, in my opinion, it doesn't matter what Microsoft and Sony does. Nintendo has carved out their own lane and it's working for them, bro. Numbers don't lie. Whatever you're a fan of, numbers don't lie. The Switch killed it last year, um last year. Every 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 single month the Switch was on top. This year, my words, the Switch is going to kill it. The software, the Switch has great software that's what the wii u was lacking the switch is packing bars um but bro even though i think the switch pro we don't know what it's going to be called it's not going to match sony and microsoft in power i'm already conceding that and it doesn't matter as long as the games run well if they do 1080p 60 minimum for all their games they're going to be a force to reckon with, bro. And if the reports are true that are saying it's going to come out summer, summer, early fall, before Microsoft and Sony, they're going to steal their shine. And all Nintendo has to do, if, 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 Nintendo launches with Breath of the Wild, thus... It's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. Software. This game is going to be a system seller. The first Breath of the Wild was a system seller for the original Switch. If this launches with the Switch Pro, Switch 2, next Switch, Sony and Microsoft, they could battle it out. <laughs> hardware on the um, more powerful hardware on the left. Nintendo's going to be good on the right. I'm just saying, bro. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go. 
Did I do it, bro? Yeah, I did do it, bro. Bro, how we had link. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. But you're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at obi one plays and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description see you later peace